It's estimated that over 1,000 children die every day from malaria in Africa, and there are fears that the death rate could rise. Artemisinin combination therapies, or ACTs, have been the cornerstone of malaria treatment for 20 years. But there are worrying signs that they are becoming less effective, says report co-author Lorenz von Seidlin of the Mahidol Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Unit in Bangkok. We have increasing reports from Eastern Africa saying that there that they have documented resistance against the first-line treatments against malaria. Artemisinin-resistant mutations have been detected in more than 10% of malaria cases in Ethiopia, Eritrea, Rwanda, Uganda and Tanzania. Before artemisinin, chloroquine was the most widely used medicine to treat malaria. The report authors note that in the 1990s and early 2000s, signs that the malaria parasite was developing resistance to chloroquine were widely ignored. When the chloroquine resistance slowly sneaked into Africa, there was a whole wave of childhood mortality followed by it. So uh, really a large number of children, probably in the millions, died because because chloroquine didn't work as well as it used to do. And now we see these first signs that something similar is happening with the ACTs. And that is, of course, very boring. The paper, published in the journal Science, urges policymakers and global funding bodies to act now to prevent artemisinin resistance taking hold. Their recommendations include combining artemisinin drugs with other medicines in so-called triple artemisinin combination therapies, the rollout of new, more effective insecticides and mosquito nets, better training of community health workers, the rapid deployment of new malaria vaccines and better monitoring. Von Seidlin says many of these methods have been used to halt the spread of artemisinin resistance in Southeast Asia over the past decade. Ultimately, there was an understanding that this could be a major health emergency globally. And so there were a lot of investments from uh, funders from high income countries towards these countries in the greater Mekong sub region. To, uh, to stop the spread um, of artemisinin-resistant uh, parasites. Scientists say that sense of urgency must now be applied to tackling artemisinin-resistance in Africa. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, Bangkok.